Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Gameplays edition of Metopia Daytime here on Game Boy TV. Still continuing to make our way through Peculia. Uh, and in uh, yesterday's episode, um, we saw quite a bit of action as we continued to uh, <coughs> complete uh, one of those locations that had the three branching paths. Now obviously I don't need to complete all three and get a gold flag because this is only a temporary dungeon. Right now, uh, let's do some housekeeping here. 93 game tickets on hand. A good wheel. We could get Fancy Jolly John tickets, but I would like to land on that yellow area so we can get the Poncho Raymond. And on the first try as well. So, this Poncho Raymond will raise Dawn's defense from 103 to 107. We could have also gotten a morsel of experience points had we landed in the blue area. But this Clockwork Bow is 920 gold and will raise Dawn's attack from 98 to 104 and magic from 80 to 83. Yes! Alright, time to set out, and now we're going to change up the party around. We're going to bring in Kristen, Isaiah, Alicia, and Dawn. You've collected five different types of bows, the preferred weapon of the L. Okay. So with that already taken care of, there is one other pathway we have yet to explore, and that's this one right here. Could be another three-way branching path, but hopefully not. Oh, and it is a three-way branching path. So, I'm gonna head up top. A Torpia and three fossils. Hopefully by the end of this episode I would have recovered nicely. So that... So that when we battle the boss, I'll be part of the party. No, not giving up. Held in just there. New skill, counter arrow. Power of flame.
bonus experience points, 8,910 for Dawn, and Hieroglyph Toast in 1,265 gold. All right, let's go up top. Two torpedoes. This one will start with a rock rain. Uh oh. Elijah's got mad, and so is Kristen Isaiah. Bat tornado. Wow, 369. Isaiah's gonna attack again. Alicia, Wicked Pitchforks, Power of the Forest, Protect Me, Forest Aegis. All right, all three. Pincer. Good work, now level 27, 9,990. Okay, rare turkey curry, turkey curry, and 880 gold. Heavy hammer. Two heavy hammers. Scorching breath. Demonic Whisper. Two eighty three. Wow. Power of Flame. Okay, 8,190 bonus experience points. And rare tenderized tartare and 900 gold. As we finally reach back the inn. You've eaten 60 MP candies. Gift of divine power. MP candy effect enhanced. 
Kane went from restoring 45 to 60 MP. The more MP candies you eat, the greater the effect will be. They will improve again once we've eaten 70. Okay, let's use one. We could get a silver bow. We can also get a mouse feet if we land in the blue area, and some fancy Jolly John tickets if we land at the yellow. This silver bow will raise Dawn's attack from 106 to 113 and magic from 85 to 88. I'm pretty sure that finishes her requirements. She was going to order that anyway, but uh, saving some gold every little we can. Okay, some hieroglyph toast. For Dawn, we could get her magic power going up. And I know Elysia loves that, so we're going to give another Hieroglyph Toast to her as well. And then a sandwich for Kristen. And Isaiah has not tried the flaming, rare flaming chili soup. Oh! Oh man. Guess that was a little too spicy for him, huh? Isaiah and Elysia still at level 11. And I have to try to find a way to get them bonding a little more. But let's go back. Let's uh, let's keep trucking along. Now we're gonna head towards the bottom. And we have a treasure chest which will contain one HP banana. Alright, this we're gonna go down again and select the bottom path there. Fight the enemies, get back to the inn, and we'll see if we can do one more. Squeeze one more run-through of this location. Okay, two torpedoes and one heavy hammer. Uh-oh. Dawn, Elysia, angry. Demonic Whisper, no, they all missed. Come on, try it again. Alright, two of them are gone. Back Tornado. Tower of Flame.
bonus experience points, 14,085. So now Dawn can be at level 28. And rare tenderized tartare and rare turkey curry plus 1,330 gold. The next battle, Alicia is most likely going to level up to level 38, seeing as that meter has almost filled up. Okay, six fossils, one ham sandwich. Punishing pitch for. Bonus experience points, 10,950. There we go, rare sandwich, rare hieroglyph toast. Getting a lot of rare items here, it's pretty good. And another treasure chest which will contain... Okay, rare banshee tears. Jenny, under the weather. Alright, I'm feeling good right now. Alright, level 19 between Kristen and Isaiah. Learned Avenge 2. Alright, I think... I think we got enough to go... One more round, we're just going to have to breeze through. But what we're going to do is uh, take the middle path. I'm just going to run through this and try to make sure we can complete this in five minutes. Okay, we're gonna go, doesn't matter, we're gonna go up top. Okay, four torpedoes, uh, two torpedoes, and two heavy hammers.
Uh oh. New skill. Enchanted arrows. Scorching breath. Giga explosion. Isaiah. Dawn and Elysia will help Kristen. Alright, that's twice avo avoided. Power of the forest to protect Isaiah. And that's going to raise friendship levels to now level 18, which will restore Isaiah's HP learned last wish together. Bat Tornado! And Wicked Pitchfork! Five thirty. Okay, twelve thousand one hundred and twenty experience points. Tristan gains a level at level thirty nine and an additional eighteen thousand one hundred and eighty. We can give to Dawn as usual. Now she's at level twenty nine. And tenderized Tartare and 1,780 gold. A cutscene. Chris Isaiah likes Kristen. And Dawn... Oh no, Elysia likes Kristen as well. Tension between the two of them. Oh, goodness gracious, my. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be another resentment. More enemies now. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Two ham sandwiches and two fossils. Those are usually... Those fossils are usually easy to take care of. Enchanted arrows, plus two. Bonus experience points, 11,460. <clears throat> Alright, nice. Genevieve, all in the same episode, feeling much better. And their quarrels over- and her quarrels over between her and Bus. Alright ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks for watching another episode. This one was packed with a lot of excitement. So tomorrow's episode we will continue uh, in this dungeon and uh, hopefully get to the boss and uh, end this quest once and for all. So tune in tomorrow, 3.30pm Eastern Standard Time, you're on Game Boy TV.